Hi, this is a lecture taken from my online course about the Apache Spark certification, which is offered by Databricks. It handles one of the topics that you need to understand in order to get certified. So check it out. Before going into the exam, make sure that you know how to join two different data frames. This is a join method that we have to call on a data frame in order to join it with another data frame. For example, you can see here we have one data frame that we would like to join with another data frame. In this case, this is the left data frame. We call the join method on the left data frame. Then we specify the right data frame and then we specify a join expression. In this case, they are performing an outer join. However, there are multiple join types such as inner join, cross outer join, or even a left anti join. However, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can join two different data frames, how we can perform an inner join, and I'll also explain you the difference between a left outer join and a right outer join, as these are the three type of join that you have to know before going into the exam. What we are going to do, we will join the customer data frame with the address data frame. Currently, we have two different files, one that contains the customer information and one that contains the address of the customer. And the link between the two data frame is the address ID. On the customer data frame, you have a column address ID and we also have a column address ID in the address data frame. This way, we can then create a data frame that will compare the address ID of a customer with the address ID in the address file and if both rows matches Apache Spark will then join the rows together which means in the resulting data frame we will have all the columns of the address data frame and all the column of the customer data frame. Let's see how to do that. Scrolling down here, we create a new cell. The customer data frame in this case is what we call the left data set. Now you can specify the join operation on it and then specify the right data set. In this case, the address data frame. Now we must specify a join expression. The join expression in this case means how we would like to compare the records in both data frame. What is the columns or what is the expressions that determines if both records belongs together? In our case, we know that it is the address ID. However, the customer data frame has a column with exactly the same name as the address ID. That's why we must be careful here and do something like this, customer DF, and specify the column explicitly. Otherwise, Apache Spark cannot know if you are referring to the address ID of the customer data frame or the address ID of the address data frame. Now we would like to compare it on equality. Therefore, we specify the equality. Now we specify address data frame. We do the same thing, dot column. It also has an address ID. There are different types of join in Apache Spark, inner join, outer join, and everything. But however, the inner join is the default one. That's why we do not have to specify the third argument here if you like to do an inner join. However, if you want to do it, you can still do something like this and this will do an inner join. What we are doing here is what we call an inner join. An inner join means Apache Spark will only merge the rows where there is a match between the left and the right data frame. Let's execute this. Now we have it data frame that contains, as you can see, all the, all the columns of the customer data frame and also all the columns of the address data frame. And from there, we can then create another data frame that contains the address ID and the stuff like that. Let me create a small data frame. For example, let's do the following. We can go here and say this is val customer with address equal this. And from this, we would like to select the customer ID. 
the address ID and maybe also all of these columns. I had to pause the video to write all the columns. Now you can see what we are doing here. We join the two data frame based on the address ID column. We then specify that we like to do an inner join. And after that, we select a couple of columns of the, from the resulting data frame. This will be the resulting data frame out of the join operation. We saw that it has all the columns from both data frames. Now we can select a couple of them and then execute it. You can then take a look into it. In this case, maybe it's better to use display customer with address. And here we have the customer ID, first name, last name, education status, location, country, city, and also the street name. And this is how you can perform an inner join in Apache Spark. Next, we'll see how you can do a left and a right outer join. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'll also like the entire course. The course covers all the topics you need to pass the exam, such as understanding the basic of the Apache Spark architecture, how to manipulate columns in a data frame, how to filter columns or rows from a data frame. It also covers how to work with user defined function and Spark SQL functions. The course contains over four and a half hours of video, and you will also get a Databricks notebook that you can import directly into a Databricks workspace to easily follow all the instruction and all the code exercise. It also contains more than 40 quizzes that will help you prepare for the exam. So use the link in the description below to join the course and get certified. Thank you.